Hello guys, welcome back to C Fashion Academy. Today I'll be teaching you a very important topic how to make use of a bias step. That is how to use a bias step to finish your dress, both the neck, the sleeve, and the damper. So please make sure you watch this video to the end and make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks and may God bless you. Okay, so I'm going to teach us how to do what? Use our normal bias to do what? Pipe a clothes. You understand? So I'll be using this bias for now to turn the neck part of my what? Dress. So you push, you look at how I'm doing it. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, this is the back part of this dress. Are you seeing it? So even if you locked it, try and to do what? Open it out small. Okay, now I'll be piping this thing. I'll be using this thing to turn the neck. That Look at what I'm, I'll be doing. From, from front here, are you seeing it? It will be going inside to the back. It's dependent on how you really want to present your own. If you want to make it as a design so that this bias will be coming to the front, that means you'll be sewing from the what inside, then it will be coming to the what front. Are you saying it? Okay. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be showing us the normal way which I'll be sewing from outside then to the what inside. Do you understand? That is the normal neat finishing method. Okay, now look at it. Like I said, first of all, open up here a little bit. Okay. So next thing we are going to do now look at this bias you notice something you notice that they've actually marked out the points which you are going to sew for you are you saying it it means that this point this which is what we what is this is it one quarter inch do you understand so that is the point you are actually going to sew okay now look at what i'm going to do now please look at this particular dress very well are you seeing it this is the back part okay so in order to use it to turn the nail look at it i'm going to place it like this are you seeing it on the front part are you seeing on the right part of the fabric i place it like this okay then i'm not i'm not going to sew alongside this line are you seeing it i'll be sewing alongside this line then round the neck okay then if i really want to finish up this very edge very well see what i'm going to do i'm going to also do what fold this very bias are you seeing it i'm going to fold it so as to do what give us a neat finish okay so now let me start the stitch So make sure you do what backstitch. Make sure you book backstitch in order to attack it and hold it firm. So next thing you are going to do what? You are going to start sewing alongside this particular line. Please be careful. Make sure you sew exactly on that line. When you reach at this very part, please I want you to make sure you do what? Make sure you expand the boat seam. Are you seeing it? Make sure you expand it. So let's continue the stitch. Please make sure you are not in a hurry to finish it up. Make sure you take your time so as to get it correct. You can take your scissors, cut here up. If you still want to achieve a better finish, all you need to do is to do what? Fold here out also. Are you seeing it? Okay, then finish your work. Stitching. Okay, so as you can see, look at it very well. I'm done with the stitching. Are you seeing it? Okay, this is it. I started from the front. Then I'll be folding into the what? Inside. Okay, so look at it. So in order for me to achieve that, what I'm going to do, are you seeing it? From here, I'll be folding to the what? Inside okay look at it let me start look at it fold it like this please one mistake that we usually do is that when we are folding we stand to what fold it so as to do what allow this thing to be coming out in front you don't do that fold it so that even the white color even the real material will be coming inside with a little you understand okay so let's start Thank you. 
Make sure you tag backstage. Okay, so please, as you are sewing, make sure you sew at the right at the edge of this particular um, red um, bias. Do you understand? Okay, are you seeing it? Okay, now look at this. Are you seeing it that the white is coming in a little bit? Okay, control it with your two hands. Okay, please gra gradually perform this task in order to get an accurate job. Okay, as you can see, we are done with the word piping. As you can see, you can see how neat it is. Look at the front part. Okay, look at the front part. Are you seeing it? Why look at the word inside? As you can see, it has given out a word, a neat finishing. So you can use your iron and do what? Um, do the rest of the word finishing by ironing it out. So that is how to do what? Use a bias to do what pipe any part of your glue. Please, the reason why we normally use this bias to pipe is because look at the bias very well. Feel it. You notice that bias is stretching. You understand? So that means bias can go at any corner without it having this excess folding. Unlike when you use an, a very stretched material that is not stretching. So that is the reason why we use bias because of the word stretchy nature. That means this bias has a special way of cutting it. When you want to cut it on a fabric, you don't just cut a straight something. Maybe, let's say you don't just measure this thing out and cut. No, there is a special way to use your material to cut out for a what? A bias. You understand? So, I will also be teaching you how to get that. Okay.